In the soybean market, in the next five days, the only place in the Midwest that has a chance of decent rain amounts, Minnesota and Wisconsin, six to ten, excuse me, six to fourteen day forecast models now showing much above normal temperatures, centered around Nebraska and South Dakota, spreading to much of the Midwest with below normal precipitation for the Western Corn Belt and for Illinois. For the USDA report today, ending stocks came in at 230 million bushels. Traders were looking for 207 million. 280 million was in June. Crush demand for the new crop season revised down by 10 million bushels. Export demand revised down by 65 million bushels. Given the hot and dry forecast, buyers might be active on a pullback once the demand uh, issues are are priced in. Keep in mind the first week of August is the most yield sensitive time period for soybeans and a crop could be under stress during this time frame. If yield drops just 1% from the USDA forecast, ending stocks could slide 185 million bushels with a stocks to usage of 4.1%. This would be the tightest since the 2013-14 season. Close in support for November soybeans, 1326 and a half and 1316, with resistance at 1405 and 1420 and three quarters. Thank you, Terry Rogensack, coming to you from the CME Group.